So, it's finally official. Support for the Raspberry Pi Pico is now available in the Arduino IDE. In the previous video about this, I covered Earl Philhauer's unofficial board plugin, but now Arduino have released their own. And this is going to be a super fast sort of public service announcement, PSA, um, just to let you know that it is now available. So for those that haven't watched the previous video, it's installed in a very similar way, and so I'll quickly cover it now. To install the board, open the Tools menu, then Boards, and then click Boards Manager. In the window that opens, search for the Pico, and install the Arduino Embed OS RP2040 board package, not the deprecated one. Wait for that to install. For me it took a few minutes, you might have to install some drivers if you don't already have them, but these will happen automatically. Now open a sketch that you want to upload to the Pico. The first time that you want to upload your sketch to the Pico, you'll have to press the boot select button down while plugging it in. Ensure that the Raspberry Pi Pico is selected from the boards, then Arduino Embed OS menu. As you hold the boot select button down while plugging in the Pico, you can compile and upload any sketch you want. In this case, I've got a basic demo blink LED sketch and I'm plugging in the Pico with the boot select button pressed. Then program the Pico using the upload button. LED should now be blinking as expected. After you've uploaded your first sketch, you shouldn't have to press the boot select button. Instead, just plug the Pico in and you'll select the correct COM port from the Tools, Port, Serial Port menu. Then you can upload all you like, as I demonstrate here, by uploading a general Hello World sketch. If you get a message saying an error occurred whilst uploading the sketch, and this is the first time that you're connected to the Pico, do make sure that the Boot Select button is pressed. Also, in my limited testing, using the Boot Select button helps solve all of the uh, upload errors that I encountered. We can also use the Arduino inbuilt serial monitor as we expect. For example, with the Hello World sketch that I uploaded earlier, we go to the serial monitor button in the top right corner. Select the COM port that your Pico is connected to if you haven't already, and you can see the output that we expect just here. Hopefully this video has helped some of you that were struggling with the C or C++ toolchain, or were holding off from the unofficial support. Uh, I hope this has helped you set up your Arduino IDE. So if this video has helped you, please do leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you and have a nice day.